All right, YouTube. Uh, just want to do updates on the system here um, since it has been a while. And you guys have been seeing me. I've been doing all my crazy um, projects. And these are the updates into the batteries here. You guys can see um, this is a 24 volts configuration here that runs with the Magnum the, um, MS4024. And that's the, uh, this is a, right now, this one is a six kilowatt, which is the uh, Volkswagen e Golf. It's a six kilowatt. And right there is a four Ford Focus, which is a eight kilowatt right now on that one. So eight and six here. So I just want to give you updates because I have some things coming up. They're all going to be eight kilowatts each. I'm going to be adding two more batteries into this um, uh, Volkswagen e-Golf, which is this pack, one pack of this. Well, a pack of this is a, is a kilowatt, okay, is a kilowatt. So here is a kilowatt. So that's the thing about the e-Golf because they just make them like a brick, you know. One of these is one battery. It has a, a nice heat sink here. So the last time I didn't um, do up, up, updates on you guys, I put some rods into this, threaded rods, to get these batteries all solid now. See, they're all sitting well, no more moving around. So I didn't complete this side because I wasn't too sure. If I'm gonna, I'm done with this, so I have to put a one more rod here. I ran out of a rod, so I already bought a long one. I get a ten foot long, and you can see all the way at the back here. There is one here, and one is missing here because I'm trying to balance it, crisscross it from here to this other direction. But this pack is complete with all the rods into it, and um, I'm gonna put one more here. But the thing is, I wasn't sure. But now these packs don't probably not gonna need rods anymore. What I'm gonna do with them, I'm gonna go horizontal. Okay, it's gonna go horizontal. So I'm gonna be laying them all the way down this way. So they come in this way. The way they're laying right now, I'm gonna flip it over. It's gonna go vertical. Now they're like horizontal, they're gonna go vertical. So I'm gonna put four down and four on top of the other one so it's going to be a system of a 48 volt i'm going to test a 48 volt i can do a 24 volt as well because i'm going to be just tying these batteries since there's a 14.4 nominal voltage so 14.4 um you, you series it then it's going to give you for that 24 volt configuration but these batteries can charge up to about uh 15 15 point something 14.4 times times uh 2 and uh the the um average i think it charges up to about uh 4.2 i think it's a 4.2 it's almost the same as the nissan leaf i think it's charged about 4.2 4.1 per cell so this is like a I think it's six cells on this something like that so um that that will make it really um interesting to get them all the way vertical even on 12 volt it's going to be like that because a uh, bus bar over there bus bar over there so it's just going to be a uh, two it's going to be uh two two strings of uh twos so i can get my 24 volt or it's easy i'm going to lay them down now i'm going to do uh two strings of fours for 48 volt so that one is a 48 volts right there. So I can able just to blend these two batteries and set my parameters according to the uh, uh, the, the cutoff. Okay, I can do that. And that gives me now it's going to give me a total of 16 kilowatts of power. So I want to fill up this box here. Like I told you guys on my previous video that uh, batteries are coming and those batteries going to be there. So the thing is as a delay because... Uh, the my supplier is kind of low on this um, e golf, and those ones as well. The Ford Focus is um, 
um, my supply is is still low. It's the same person or the same company, but just like I think they don't have the uh, the the batteries uh, for that vehicle, or maybe those vehicles don't get bad like an accident compared to maybe the the leaf or, or any other batteries they tear down because of mostly your accidents because that's how we end up having these batteries or else we can just buy them they get into a collision or maybe get rear-ended and um total that's how you end up getting these batteries or else it, it's not easy for you just to buy a brand new battery for 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 solar a brand new battery for a car electric car to use on your solar unless you're that rich enough to do that because a lot of people out there have money so this is the system again i'll pan that and show you guys and um next what you're going to be seeing here um the mere future something is going to be coming for the mate the outback mate so now i'm going to be having a new um uh, battery monitor system which is the the fndc which is you no know, you guys know if you're um outback guy you're supposed to know how everything works and the parts are really expensive so fndc is just going to be like your whiz bank junior for uh, midnight solar guys and it's going to be for um uh, bmk battery monitor kits for magnum or it's going to be just like a victron for battery monitor for you guys that have victron that's the same thing with the uh, outback the outback is the fndc flexnet flex flex net dc okay so that's what it does so i'm going to be adding that into the system and uh complete my outback uh, you're going to be seeing some surprising thing coming from that side but i'm not going to be talking about it mostly whatever this board is going to change okay but i'm going to be um testing again the 24 volts of these so that they can run into the 48 volts you guys never seen run on 48 volts so uh, two more of the batteries are coming, which are the um, the last ones I was lucky to to have now because they're out. The e golf expensive batteries, those are expensive as well. It's not easy just to find them, but my source, um, I ran out of those. I can't find, I can't get them that much anymore. But anyway, I'm still open for this because my system is going to stay with this. A 16 kilowatt is going to be two more batteries into this e-golf. Then going to make it a 16 kilowatt. Eight on that one, eight on this one. I can able to, to link them together, to parallel them. Just set up my charging parameters. These batteries can run for, for three, four days, three to four days before I charge them. If I want to charge, if I turn off the solar, maybe there's a bad weather. So now we started um, having some good uh, uh, power here. The sun is out and uh, we know everything is growing outside. It's really cool. So guys, stay tuned for that. And uh, so I'm trying to run this system, get everything prepared. And um, linking you again with my 12 volt system. Hey, you guys go um, watch the video and update what I've done to it. And uh, stay tuned and please subscribe. And share my videos thanks for watching this one's gonna be changed they're gonna be going vertical now I hope I'm gonna be having room there I don't even do the measurement yet how one battery how was the length for for it I need a clearance so that I can able to connect the terminals for for that or else I have to open up this side cut this side cut that side to open up more room I don't want to do that but if I have to I just have to do it because I cannot stack them two more here because the box is not going to close. I want to keep this box closed. Okay. So these are in threes right now. So three in parallel, three in parallel and series, series it. So that's why I was running it for the meantime. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Stay tuned for more updates coming up. A lot of stuff going to be coming. A lot of stuff. They're on the way. So stay tuned. A lot of stuff on the way. I'm telling you, it's going to be interesting. I have a lot of surprises. It's on the shipment. It's coming right now. Stay tuned for those videos. Bye.